Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The continuous rise of Chinese companies like Huawei in the fields of technology and semiconductors has put great pressure on the United States. In order to maintain its position as the beacon of science and technology and the Silicon Valley of the world, the United States has imposed restrictions on Chinese technology companies such as Huawei. Suppression also applies to China's technology industry. In addition to operating system chips, mobile phone chips and personal computer chips, with the arrival of artificial intelligence, the United States is also targeting AI chips, hoping to slow down China's technological development from the underlying hardware construction. AI chips, also known as AI accelerators or computing cards, are mainly responsible for solving massive calculations in the AI field, especially large-scale AI information interconnection. However, NVIDIA occupies an absolute dominance in the field of artificial intelligence, and NVIDIA's H100 is considered the best large language learning tool. However, NVIDIA and AMD were told by the White House in 2022 that they were not allowed to sell high-end artificial intelligence chips such as H100 and A100 to Chinese consumers. Medea's purpose is to set up barriers to China's AI industry, but for the Chinese, it is a good thing because they are not afraid of being suppressed, so domestic AI chip companies have accelerated their pace. Huawei, Haiguang, and Cambrian have occupied the market. It has captured 90% of the market share, and Huawei's X910B has swept across China. Its performance is close to that of NVIDIA's A100, but its cost is more than 60% of the latter. Hong Kong kills on a new runway. On this new track, Domestic AI chips have replaced A100. More importantly, there is a new road in China. Recently, Associate Professor Wang Pin from the City University of Hong Kong and researchers from the Chinese University of Hong Kong used new lithium niobate crystals as experimental materials to develop a new high-speed low-energy microwave photonics device based on laser technology. Realizing a new type of laser-based high-speed, low-power microwave photonic device. This paper has been published in the journal Nature. In recent years, news about optoelectronic technology has been emerging the most common of which are materials such as silicon light and indium phosphide. Among them, the photovoltaic performance of lithium niobate crystal is stronger than that of indium phosphide, which has no direct electro-optical effect. Moreover, the computing speed of lithium niobate material is more than 1,000 times that of American manufacturing, and it can achieve a bandwidth of 67 gigahertz. The computing accuracy is also very high, and the most important thing is that the power consumption is very small. For example, for a 250 by 250 picture, the lithium niobate material only requires 3 nanojoules, while ordinary electronic chips consume hundreds to thousands of joules. 
One joule is equivalent to 10 to 9 units. While niobium the energy consumption of lithium acid chips is almost zero, and the power consumption is also very different. It is reported that the main uses of this chip include artificial intelligence, computer vision, and imaging and imaging. Its functions can be said to be specially designed for artificial intelligence data centers. With the rapid development of AI technology, computing power has increasingly higher requirements for electrical energy. Some experts predict that by 2025, AI data centers will consume 15% of the world's electricity. It can be seen how important high-performance, low-power consumption chips are to the development of the AI industry, and microwave photonic chips with the above advantages will pose a huge threat to American AI chips. More importantly, the production process does not require the use of current photolithography technology like previous silicon chips. Regarding this point, some foreign media said, China has broken through the legend of the United States being the dominant company for decades. From a scientific and technological perspective, this is a process that surpasses the world. Some people may be thinking, can this thing be used? If you think about it this way, it's too narrow-minded. Gardner predicts that by 2025, the world's optical chip market will reach 56.1 billion. Huawei also believes that this industry has a scale of at least 320 billion US dollars and can drive the value of the entire industry to 2.6 trillion US dollars. When the traditional semiconductor manufacturing process approaches its own physical limits, China has reason to believe that in the new century, China's semiconductors have changed from followers to leaders. If you agree, please give it a like and spread it to let more interested friends know about it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any ideas, please let me know.